what was the, the process of making the film like? Did you know that you were making uh, this thing that was just special and beautiful and fucking wonderful and that? Well, I mean, we tried to bring, we, we tried. I tried to assemble a, a creative team and a cast that was as good as I could, being somebody who, I, I had no, I, I, it was the first movie, so I had no reputation to fall back on, no other work to show, to get people excited about working with, it was like, I'm just a guy. So I did the best I could in assembling these fantastic people and got lucky that this particular group of people fell into the orbit of this movie. It was completely accidental. Just the, the movie gods kind of smiled. The, the movie gods and Robbie Reed. And, and as well, we should shout out Robbie Reed, Where's who's Robbie? out there. Robbie. Where's Robbie? Robbie's out there somewhere. Robbie Reed, the most important black casting director in the history of cinema. Hi, Robbie Reed! Who is responsible for everybody you know. Now, Robbie brought me, uh, Lorenz and Nia, Nia came to me from Helena, Lorenz from the studio, and then Robbie brought everybody else, brought me um, Isaiah and Bill and Lisa, and Leonard and Bernadette came to me in Chicago. They uh, were cast in Chicago by Jane Alderman. But Robbie brought the, this middle part of the cast right here that I would not have been... If, I was very fortunate that Robbie decided to cast it. It's kind of cool watching a movie. It's kind of like uh, it's like this reunion of everybody who was kind of like a part of this thing, these iconic faces. And I forgot how so many of the scenes are these eight characters, and you cut to a reaction, and you just get so much life. Again, as I heard in the auditorium, all this life given from all these faces up here. But I wanted to talk to uh, Lorenz first because I read this article that you know when the financing came together, it was contingent upon you uh, in a certain way. And, and uh, when I was doing the research, I looked back at it, I was like, oh yeah, it went from O-Dog to Darius. <laughs> and, and, and again, I remember walking in the cinema and being like, that ain't O-Dog, you know? But, but clearly it was. Um, so, so talk to me about you know, uh, the script coming to you and, and where you were in your career at that point and what it was like just to step into this character. Ted, do you wanna, you wanna <laughs> tell my version of your... <laughs> no, it's, you tell your version, your truth, and I'll correct you. Your truth, you are all such yeah, good he's gonna, friends, very honest up here. Go, Lorenz, you tell your version. Well, Ted, you correct me. No, um, yeah, I guess the, the studio was pretty interested in working with me. I had done um, Minister Society. He still auditioned. Sorry, I just... <laughs> oh, okay. I, I auditioned. Kind of true. Um, however it was, I'm just very fortunate to have been next to Miss Neil Long. <laughs> Audition, <laughs> testing, whatever it was <laughs> laid out as. But you don't um, call it audition at that level. You call it a screen test. Screen test. Okay. Feel nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm humble. Listen, I, I'll still I will screen test with you right now. Me too. Want to yes. do it? Part two. Part two. <laughs> screen testing. <laughs> no. Um. Listen, when the script came to me, you know, I was I'm always looking for new challenges and something that would be different. And uh, over my uh, career, as I look back, you know, I, I don't tip, typically have like sort of a, a, um, a one kind of movie that, you know, um, that I gravitate towards, uh, different roles. Uh, I don't have the same move, if you will. And this was something that I thought would be kind of cool. Uh, I love the idea that these people um, spoke differently to each other. I love the idea that, you know, it was romantic. Um, and at the same time, it was, uh, was going to be in Chicago, and we hadn't really seen anything in my hometown quite like it. So um, I was able to get a chance to spend some time with, uh, with Ted. I wanted to uh, have a meeting in the minds. He's from Chicago. And we had two sort of different points of views uh, about who Darius was, um, but as I uh, got to know him and to really commit to what the journey would be, you know, um, every step of the way, you know, I'm always, he and I had tit for tat, but um, I'm very appreciative to him open me, opening me up in my mind to a character that I hadn't played before. You know, there were things that I sometimes I would be a little resistant about. The vulnerability, I think, is the thing that I was fighting against. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't used to characters being as vulnerable mm -hmm. as Darius. And I think it was important to show us as men being vulnerable. And I thank you for that. So that was, 
my biggest tug of war wasn't about women and all that other stuff. It really was about just being um, vulnerable. And as I look back on it and as I am in my own personal life, how vulnerable you know I can be, I think it was really, really important for us, for the world to see and for the culture. Mm -hmm. So thank you. How, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm good. And I want to hear a woman's perspective on what it was like to to make this film because so much of it hinges on the relationship between the two of you, uh, both uh, the story that's being told, but also the way y'all look at one another. So, what was it like for you to step into this part? Because it was different for you at this time in your career as well. I, I mean, I was relatively still very new to the business, and I hadn't proven myself to be able to open a movie. Um, and <laughs> it didn't open so big, but thank God now you guys have all followed us and it's become a cult classic and you know the met the time I always say that this film was before its time um black people were so excited to see ourselves like this but I think when the film was released because we hadn't because there was no formulaic process to follow it sort of got lost as this hidden gem and I'm okay with that. You know why? Because we're all here today celebrating. And that, to me, when you have staying power and the story is relevant and we are able to give ourselves permission to show black love on film, then I feel like I did my job. Yes. Um, and, and, and had the movie done huge. crazy, we probably wouldn't be sitting here right now. Yeah. You know? It's true. And But, but also for me, I... Um, I read the script and I thought, wow, this is amazing. I'm from Brooklyn. My father's a poet. My mother's a fine artist. So this world was very familiar to me. And when I look back on, on all the women that I've played in this, in this beautiful career and these wonderful opportunities, Nina is probably the most like myself. And so when I couldn't sit through the movie, I was gonna cry, like literally, because it touches me in such a deep way. And the only disappointment I have is that we have not seen a film like this since. Yeah. 